Weapons have the potential to make or break a game. Nobody wants a limp noodle, they want the biggest, baddest gun they can find. What started as a bug is now a featured weapon in the outer world. Enter the Mandibular Rear Ranger. I made a previous video talking about the Shrink Ray, a science weapon from the outer world. The Shrink Ray does just that, it shrinks your opponents. It doesn't kill them, only shrinks them. However, since your opponents are now smaller, they should be easier to kill. So far, Obsidian has only released the Shrink Ray, the handgun class of science weapons. But now we have the light meat class weapon as well. Enter the Mandibular Rear Ranger. And just like the Shrink Ray, the Mandibular Rear Ranger is true to its name. It rearranges your enemy's jaw. Not only their jaw, but their nose get bigger, the heads get smaller. Your enemies also seem to freeze for a bit after you hit them. I find it wonderful that what started as a bug is now a featured weapon in the game. It's great that Obsidian was able to look at a mistake and take that opportunity to make a wacky weapon out of it, instead of squashing it like the bug it was. These science weapons, a total of 5 so far, one for each category of weapons, deal adverse effects to your enemies or certain NPCs you might use them on. The higher your science skills, the higher the effects the weapons will cause. But you'll have to go off the beaten path if you want to collect them all. By the looks of it, the rear ranger looks like it will be a lot of fun to play with and it'll definitely give you a lot of laughs. But honestly, as a weapon, I'm not sure how useful it will be. I'm sure you'll be better off with a more traditional weapon. Still, I appreciate crazy weapons like this in video games. And I appreciate game developers and game companies that put fun in the forefront of their games. Even if the weapons might be more of a novelty. Don't get me wrong, I plan to collect and use all science weapons regardless of how useful they may be in combat. I'm intrigued on how I can use them in battle and just trying to see if I can push them past their limits. You know, just to see if I can break the game any further. If the Mandibular Rear Ranger was a result of a bug, maybe we can create new bugs with these science weapons. Only time will tell. So far, Obsidian has only revealed two out of the five science weapons in the game. We have the Mandibular Rear Ranger, the Light Melee class, the Shrink Ray, the Handgun class. So they still have at least three more to go, the Heavy Melee class, the heavy weapon class, and the long gun class. Like I said before, to get the best use out of these weapons, you have to invest your XP in science perks. The higher your science skills, the more effective your science weapons will be. It makes sense. But what doesn't quite make sense to me, at least not yet, what will become of your character if you invest all your points into science? Yes, your science weapons may be maxed out, but from what I've seen so far, they don't really deal much punishment. So will you just be a weak science nerd with cool weapons that constantly gets their butt kicked? Or maybe, just maybe, wishful thinking really, but it would be neat if not only there was science weapons, but you can also craft science armor that helps you out in battle as well. The more I think about it, the more it makes sense. But until then, we can at least look forward to playing with some cool weapons in the outer world. I for one can't wait to see what science weapon Obsidian shows off next.